Hey guys, I am, um, sorry, those are my legs. I wanted to do a, uh, a mini-series, if you will, on the uh, growth and the change in the Colombian boa. Um, so everyone knows who watches my videos, which is like 50 people. Um, I'm pretty crazy about Colombians. I own seven. Um, I breed them. I've got babies on the way. Uh, they're an awesome snake. I like them a lot more than ball pythons, um, but they're a responsibility and they get a lot bigger than a ball python and they don't get huge, they're not a Burmese by any means, but a lot of people need to know what they're getting themselves into when they get them, so I'm going to do this uh, video series on the changes and the growth and the development of the uh, Colombian boa and their feeding changes and their price changes and what you have to look forward to for feed and caging and stuff so I'm gonna start with a baby this here is uh, Ruth this is my best friend's Colombian I'm using hers because hers is smaller um, the smallest one it's just a normal Colombian this isn't the smallest they come. They get they're much smaller at birth, uh, not much, but they're smaller at birth. Um, this is a really cool Colombian. I like it. It's really gray, um, and the saddles connect a little. So times when if you look really quick, he almost looks like a motley. But that's not the point. Um, this is when you buy them. They're cheap. You know, you can get them. I've seen them as cheap as thirty five dollars. But if you go to an expo or something, you'll get them at about uh, 50. That's a, it's a relatively cheap snake. Um, the babies, he eats a hopper, which is a small mouse. They cost about a buck fifty a piece a week. So for feed, I mean, you're not looking at too much. He, when you buy him as babies, they can live in a 10 gallon. And I mean, him, he would be in a 10 to 15. Uh, you could put him in a 20. Um, you know, so you're looking at about 50 in terms of caging, and then you put bedding in and a hide, and so they're not a really expensive snake to keep, um, but like most snakes, well, not most, but some snakes, the setup is more expensive than the actual snake. Um, let me put him back really quick and kind of show you what my friends got going on for him um, hold on <coughs> let me put him in here basically he's in a 10 gallon and uh, he has a water dish that goes right there I pulled it all out and he's got a hide that goes here and a heat pad that's pretty much all you need for them you spray them down occasionally to give them moisture, and they're pretty much set. So with babies, they're very easy to handle. Sometimes they can be a little aggressive when you first buy them, but simple handling, and they tame down very easily. Um, and, you know, then a baby that was about this long and that wide, in a matter of months... I mean like three to four months you will have a fatter Colombian let me pull out my boy he's a little bit he actually might be shorter than him but he's heavier uh, no he's he's longer um, it's not actually a good sample but they grow relatively quickly um, and he's on a large hopper a big big hopper a uh, small mouse depending on what's available at the pet store and his cage is a little bit bigger um, he's also kept in plastic bins like all my snakes because when you own over 20 snakes, 
caging is just really expensive. So, they're a cool snake. They feel really cool. But, as you can see, as babies, I mean, they're very easy to take care of. They're easy to handle. Uh, easy to feed. They're a cheap snake, but they grow. So, my next video will basically show you what a yearling looks like. I have to see if I can borrow my friend's yearling for a day to use in a video. Um, but, so there is part one of the Colombian care sheet. Alright.